Getting started with TIS and using our agreements is simple and easy. Before you begin, you're required to set up your agency profile. To set up your agency profile, click on Manage Account and Agency Profile. This information is used to dynamically create your legal agreements, populate necessary seller of travel information, and account for any cancellation or change fees that your agency charges. After you've completed your profile, navigate to the Contracts tab. In this section, you will find links to the TIS Master Templates, personalized templates, which I'll explain how to use in a minute, and any third-party contracts you have uploaded to our system to execute with your customers or contractors. Let's start with the master templates. Here is where you'll find the TIS agreements you have access to based on your membership level. Under the Actions section, you'll have the ability to view the document, download the document, or execute the document inside of the TIS platform. All TIS members have access to compliant e-signature. Gold and Platinum members have use of a third-party PCI compliant credit card vault to collect, store, and manage customer credit cards. TIS does not currently connect with merchant providers like Stripe or Squarespace. If you want to collect funds directly into your bank account, you'll need to either utilize another system or process funds through your host agency. Let's walk through how to execute a contract within TIS. First, choose Execute Contract. Choose your customer and click Next. Enter the amount you want your customer to authorize. Enter a trip name or reference. Enter a memo like initial trip deposit. And then you're gonna upload any files your client needs to make a decision to authorize their charge. This could be supplier terms and conditions or a trip itinerary. Next, click send document. After the document is sent, your client will receive an email with your information and a link to authorize any charges, view any memos, download any attachments and electronically sign the document. If you do not wish to use the payment authorization or attach files, your client will not see this information on their end. After your client or contractor executes the agreement, both you and your client will receive a copy via email and you'll be notified on your dashboard under the notifications section. To view a payment authorization, go to the customer in which you sent the agreement, Choose the executed contract. You'll see the audit trail on the right-hand side, any attachments that you included, as well as memo information, and then click on the billing. You'll see the amount that they've authorized and you'll be able to view the entire card details. Now let's talk about personalized templates. We've made completing many other agreements such as the planning fee agreement, group leader agreement, and so on easier to complete by guiding you through the process. Simply go to the master templates, click on save as a personalized template icon, follow the instructions on the left side of the screen, You'll notice that we've included information to guide you along the way. After you've completed this information, you'll click Next and Save as a personalized template. Name your template and click Save. That template is now saved under your personalized template folders. 
To edit that agreement, click on edit. You can edit on screen. Or you can execute right inside of the platform. Add the signature fields for the customer or member. Let's assume you want to add a customer signature field. Click on the field and drag and drop to the place inside of the document where you want them to sign. Let's now cover user uploads. Let's assume you're using a third-party contract that you received from outside of TIS. Click on Add Contracts, copy and paste the terms that you want to include, name the document, select the type, and the job function. Click Add. Now that document will appear under your user upload. From here, you can edit it, delete it, or you can execute it right inside of the TIS platform. Now that we've covered how to use our system, let's talk in greater detail about your core legal agreements. All plans include planning fee agreements, terms and conditions, travel insurance waiver, travel services agreement, and shortly after completing this video, we'll have a cancellation form available. We've provided three planning fee agreements. The first two provide examples of differing fee structures. Feel free to use exactly what's provided or make it your own entirely. When using the planning fee agreements, you'll want to save them as a personalized template, which I showed you earlier, to make it easier to execute in the future. You'll also find two travel insurance waivers. The first one is for agents who collect their client's card and pay the insurance company. The second is for agents who send their clients links to make the purchase on their own. You should always get your customer to sign the waiver, even if they purchase insurance, because anything can happen between deposit and return of travel that may create issues for your agency. It's vital your clients accept their role and responsibility in choosing insurance and fully understand it's their responsibility to review coverages. Next is the terms and conditions and travel services agreement. You can send your client the long terms and conditions, but we highly recommend you place them on your website and use the travel services agreement as the governing document your client signs, as the terms and conditions is 13 pages long. The travel services agreement is a single page that links to your full terms and conditions. It's designed to remove the fear and overwhelm your clients may have by receiving a 13-page terms and conditions document. To use the TSA with your customers, you absolutely must have it point to the terms and conditions you have placed on your website. Otherwise, it won't protect you. If you recall, when you completed your agency profile, we asked where you would place your client terms and conditions. We've conveniently created website codes that you can embed on individual pages on your website so that when we make updates to the terms and website policies, they update directly to your website while you sleep and on a per user basis. Don't miss the important step of adding the website codes to the header of your website. Instructions can be found in our FAQs, or you can hire a website developer to do the work for you. As a side note, the Travify websites currently don't support our technology as it's more advanced than what their websites can support at this time. You'll need to download the terms and copy and paste them to your website template. And finally, I'd like to leave you with three last thoughts. The first is the order in which you should execute your contracts. If you charge a planning fee, send this to your client to authorize their planning fee amount and sign the agreement. 
You can use a third-party merchant to process the fee for you or process it through your host agency system. This document links to your full terms and conditions, so they're agreeing to those terms at the same time. Next, if you have placed your terms and conditions on your website, then once your client is ready to make a payment on their booking, send the TSA for signature and to authorize the amount if you have access to the credit card vault feature. It's best practice to have your client sign this form each time they make a payment and for each person 18 years or older with or without the payment authorization, depending if they are the paying party. If you do not have plans to place your terms and conditions on your website, you'll need the client to sign the full terms and conditions and you'll bypass sending the TSA. Last, once your client has made their booking deposit or they have signed off on the trip, send them the travel insurance waiver for signature and authorization along with the travel insurance quote or links. Next, we see so many travel agents breaking the law when it comes to their websites. You're required by law to have at a bare minimum a privacy policy if you're collecting any sort of personally identifiable information through your website, such as names and email addresses. If you have affiliate links, you're also required to have an affiliate policy. And finally, a terms of use is the rules of the road for your website. All of your website policies are there to protect you and should include things like the DMCA provision and set your jurisdiction in your home state. You wouldn't want to be sued and have to drive across the country to litigate. And finally, I want to leave you with this thought. Contracts are not one and done. So many agents think that once they have that contract in hand, they're golden. But I'm here to tell you, they should at least be reviewed and or updated yearly, depending on the contract type, if not more often. Based on the number of proposed bills TIS is currently monitoring, I can assure you that one and done is not a chance you want to take. And you can rest assured that TIS is on top of keeping your business protected and compliant. You've invested so much effort and resources into growing your business. Don't let outdated contracts be the thing that puts you out of business. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support team at hello at travelindustrysolutions.com. Use the chat bot on the bottom right of our site or access our FAQs. The FAQs can be found inside of our member portal and also in the footer on our website.